from the East Coast LQ Reviews. Today I got another beer review. This is uh, Whalers, and this is their Rise IPA. Um, so I got Beer Advocate pulled up. Um, beer Advocate score, score for this is 4.06 out of 5, so about 4 out of 5. Some beer info. So it's brewed by uh, Whalers Brewing Company out of Rhode Island, United States. Um, so it's uh, Whalers Brew. If you want to check them out a little bit more, you can go to whalersbrewing.com. Uh, style of this beer is an American Pale Ale or APA. Alcohol by volume or ABV is 5.5%. Availability is rotating. And for the notes or commercial description, it says dry hopped American Pale Ale. So I'm going to crack this open. We're going to go over the appearance of the beer. I can already tell it's going to produce a nice head. Um, so it pours a nice hazy golden color. Definitely a nice thick white uh, head. Um, looks like it's going to stick around for a while as well. Looks like it's going to leave some lacing on the glass. Um, but let's go for the aroma. On the aroma, I'm getting a lot of like uh, like dank hop aroma like you would get from like an IPA. Um, also picking up a nice uh, citrusy, like a citrusy note. Um, so definitely like some lemon peel, like maybe like tangerines. Also kind of getting like some tropical notes, like uh, like a little bit of grapefruit. Um, but whatever hops they're using this, it smells great. The aroma is uh, really good. Um, definitely getting a nice grassy hoppiness on the aroma. Um, but it's nothing too overly grassy and hoppy. Um, so, like I said, I'm definitely picking up a lot of those uh, citrusy, kind of tropical notes as well. Um, but once this head goes down, I'm going to go for a taste. Um, and I actually have had this before. I'm, I am a fan of this. Um, let's see if we can get a little bit more on this cup. Alright. So, uh, yeah, let's go for the taste now. So, right up front. Definitely picking up like that, like that lemon peel, uh, tangerine, uh, grapefruit, um, and for being an, uh, an APA American Pale Ale, um, it's definitely not too bitter. I wouldn't say the IP, IBUs are very high, um, so I'm guessing they're kind of low. Um, actually, on the on the side of the can, it does say 12 full ounce, 5.5 percent ABV, and 20 IBUs. So the IBUs in this are pretty low. Um, so it definitely finishes with like a nice hoppy kind of bitterness, um, but it's not very bitter. It's nothing intimidating. Um, it actually finishes pretty crisp and clean. Um, it's a little malty too, um, but it's pretty good. Uh, Mouthfeel, I'd say it's about medium. Carbonation, I want to say is, uh, I'd say carbonation is pretty light actually. Um, definitely getting like a lot of like piney hops. Um, but if you're somebody who likes a pale ale, uh, this is definitely a good beer to check out. Um, for a rating on this, I'm going to give this a, uh, I'm going to give this a seven and a half out of ten. Um, it's really good. Um, there's just... Some things that I, I think it could be a little better with. Um, like, I, could, I think it could just be a little bit hoppier. Um, but I am guess that's kind of what they're shooting towards. They kind of want a nice uh, APA that's not too bitter. It's not too hoppy. Definitely lots of, like, tropical and, uh, like, citrusy uh, fruits going on in this. Uh, but, yeah, I think 7.5 is pretty fair. Um, price on this. Um, I believe this is going to cost you around like 12 bucks for a six pack, um, but it's totally worth it. Um, for for being an APA, it's pretty crushable and killable in my opinion. Um, and yeah, like I said, I recommend it to anybody who likes uh, hoppy beers, or maybe you're somebody who's uh, starting to try to get into those hoppier beers, and maybe you want to start getting into those more craft beers. Um, this is a good one to check out. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Is there any liquor beers you guys like to see on my channel? Definitely leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for my upcoming videos on liquor and beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers.